There will be a few showers, but nothing quite significant. Maybe a couple of thunderstorms back towards our west, but if you are going out to Halloween Horror Nights. I, I went last night, Kellyanne, and, oh. and we didn't get rain before I left. Wow, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, this night's going to be... But I was watching the west.com radar. Same. Yeah, I, I mean, tonight's going to be even better. Lower rain chances, which is what we like to hear. Outside right now, nothing but clear conditions from our Tower Cam Network in Ocala, although I am watching just an isolated shower work through parts of Marion County right around the Fellowship area just north of Ocala. It's a tiny passing shower, though rain not a huge concern for this morning. It's just going to be muggy. And just know that we do have a few isolated rain showers later on today when you pick the kids up from school. Otherwise, temperatures to get you out the door, low in the middle 70s, around 72 to 75 degrees, and our high temperatures today top out into the 80s and 90s. Now, looking ahead to the afternoon, We'll start to bubble up a few isolated showers around 1 32 o'clock along our east coast sea breeze. After that, all of the rainfall works inland. So your beach plans today looking fantastic. Inland spots around 4 and 5, an isolated shower or thunderstorm. That then works back towards west along I-75 around 6, 7 o'clock where we'll get the collision of the two sea breezes. That will lead to some scattered thunderstorms along I-75 and then clearing out. That's the only rain chances that we're really seeing today. So overall coverage right around 20% with a few more showers and thunderstorms around 7, 8, and 9 o'clock this evening. We have a front down to our south this weekend. This will bring in some showers along with an onshore wind both Saturday and Sunday. Now yesterday we were talking about the potential about an isolated shower or two for both weekend days. Rain is going on an uptick for Saturday and Sunday around 30% with our high temperatures in the low 90s. Now, if you're heading out tomorrow morning to the walks and Alzheimer's out at Cocoa Riverfront Park by 11 o'clock in the morning, yes, we will be watching for a few showers and some rainfall trying to move on in, but it's not going to be a washout. Definitely will be humid though as you step out the door. And then on Sunday, we officially ring in fall. So we're just two days away until the official start at fall at 844 in the morning. Your first warning, 7 day forecast, Central Florida certified most accurate shows drier conditions into next week. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, a 20% chance of rain. Highs in the upper 80s and low 90s. Rain begins to increase next Thursday.